Hello, I am Mary Bryant, and today I have Sarah Krieger of Iowa City Hospice here in the City Channel 4 studio. And we're talking about a series of caregiver education programs that Iowa City Hospice is coordinating and sponsoring along with some other organizations in the area. So Sarah, let's talk about this series of caregiver uh, programs. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, what the overall aim of this uh, series is? Yeah. Well, being a family caregiver is a really tough job, but it's an important one. Um, if we were to put a monetary value on uh, fam the work that family caregivers do every year, a recent study showed that it would be about $306 billion. Um, yeah, it's a significant amount, and that is actually twice the amount uh, that is paid annually um, to nursing homes and uh, in-home care, paid care providers. To provide these cares, oftentimes caregivers sacrifice their own mental health and well-being. Um, when I was an in-home hospice nurse working with families and patients, I would often tell the caregivers, you have to first care for yourself before you can care for others. Um, so we decided to do this family caregiver initiative to provide family caregivers with the support and education that they need to feel confident in their roles and maintain their own health and uh, mental well-being. And though we know that family caregivers are already stretched for time, um, we really think it's important for them to take time to do uh, these sessions um, in order to care for themselves and make them um, be successful in their roles. So are these sessions mainly aimed at uh, caregivers for family members or are they also, uh, are some of them aimed at professionals? Um, well, oftentimes when we may be professionals and caregivers, um, but ultimately we are aiming this for family caregivers. And when I say family caregivers, we recognize that oftentimes it's neighbors, friends, church members that are filling this family caregiver role. Mm -hmm. um, but. Uh, what we're looking for are people who may be um, helping a loved one, and it may be as simple as uh, taking somebody to the grocery store to get um, get their basic needs met, or as extensive as providing 24-hour bedside care. Um, the important part is that people recognize that they are filling a role as a family caregiver, even if they are doing these simple tasks, um, so that they recognize that they are not alone. There are others who have been through this, are going through this. There's a shared knowledge that we can all share with each other and that there is help. 